immediately. 1 800 561 1111. Not more such persons. Backyard WeatherNet is sponsored by Steiger, Isco, and Green. For more than 60 years, the Lakeworth business has prided itself on making products that help out in times of crisis. So now it's turning its attention to the Gulf oil spill. News Channel 5's John Shaman has more on what's being made to make a difference. First, a machine outlines and cuts a computerized pattern. Then a seam sealing machine joins two pieces of shiny fabric. Fabric that, after it's joined together, is inflated and tested. The end result... These are bladders that go into an oil boom. Robert Patton Jr. shows off the latest handiwork at the Patton Company that has spent the past half century here in Lake Worth. Now, the bladders don't actually absorb the oil, but it allows the boom to float and will help contain the massive oil burns in the Gulf. The company was initially contracted to make about 700. We just received a new order for 1,000. And with the possibility that this could be a five-year contract. Right now, the company makes 40 of these six-foot-long tubes a day with plans to double that output, a bittersweet boost to the bottom line. I enjoy the business. I just hate why we're having to do it because of being from a fifth-generation Floridian family, the beach has always been near and dear to us. This company, devoted to life-preserving materials, was actually born from tragedy. In 1934, Lieutenant Robert Patton was piloting a naval plane that collided with another, sending him into the water. And they claimed that he was alive, but the sharks got him. In response, Robert Patton's brother Fred developed the first inflatable life raft for fighter pilots. It's changed in color and materials, but it's basically the exact same raft that was made that many years ago. Patton's one-man and 20-man rafts are in many military planes today. So now the company's just expanding from saving lives to trying to save the Gulf. In Lake Worth, John Shaman, WPTV, News Channel 5.